today also has been a very emotional day for me and I know for many others. 16 years ago, ago to date, to date, the new Christmas Eve of 2006 when the coup happened, I remember this day. And today we've ousted those very people who committed crimes on our young people. I remember getting a call on Christmas Eve 2006 from a colleague of mine, Virisila Mbuandromo, I'm going to name them, saying that the police, the military was there to take her away, to, to take her away. She didn't know what for. And then I kept getting calls. Jackie Koroi, young Jackie Koroi, Imraz Iqbal, a journalist, Peter Wangovonovono, a political activist, um, Virisila's partner, and many more that we don't know. Leisanding Itaki. These were all people up at the camp. I got news. I called the then, I was a human rights commissioner at that time. I called the then director for the human rights commission, Shaista Shamim. And I asked her to send the car over. We needed to get up to the military barracks. She refused to send the car over. In fact, she told me I should be in hiding because my name was on the list. So I acted as a human rights commissioner should do. I called my friends. Uh, here I called my partner and I said let's go to the camp and we went up to the camp people kept asking me my colleagues kept asking me what's the plan I said there's no plan these young people are, are up there Christmas Eve of 2016 in the evening 2006 sorry in the evening of that day we drove up there we saw these young people being marched out made to run out of the military barracks uh, and while the, uh, the, the check at the checkpoint, the young soldiers were wishing us Merry Christmas. I saw them being marched out with guns at their backs and being followed by another truck. And they were made to march down. We followed them down the road and tried to negotiate for their release and so on. Eventually they were let go, but that night I will never forget. Christmas Eve, which is the holiest of holy nights for people as Christians, for this Christian country. And that is what happened to young people. I will never forget that. Then the ensuing days, when I kept getting calls, kept getting calls from various people who were being taken in, what should we do? And I was guiding them from here. I also rang the then Attorney General Ayaz Said Khayyum when I was talking to him. Leweni, who was the military liaison officer at that time, and called them, telling them who was being taken in and so on. And I never, and, and then, I was helped. I was told later on, go and pick up so-and-so from there. That person has been released. Yes, we know. I wanted them to know that we knew also, that I knew also as a human rights commissioner. I will never forget those days. There were such horrible days for all of us. I'd been through 1986, uh, 87 coup. I've been through 2000. 2000 was another frightening time. 87 was frightening, but not as frightening as the last 16 years have been. Because we can't even speak out. We can't if we, we couldn't even hold people accountable. And these are the people we have ousted today out of government. And I'm just so very, very happy that this happened. And I'm sure those people who were taken in, those young people on, the, on Christmas Eve 2006 in the evening when they should have been with their family getting ready to celebrate Christmas, they were hauled up there and we don't know what kind, we, we, know, we know what was done to them, to each one of them and particularly the women and we hope we hope and we hold this government accountable that those days never come back again and I, well, I also want to acknowledge the people who who could have changed things for the worse and but chose not to stood by democracy and the duty to the country the commander of the RFMF people like uh, uh, Mr. Koloni uh, White and uh, also Mr. Abdul Khan who did his duty and resigned rather than undermine his own police force. So we do remember these people. We remember, I remember today all the human rights activists with me and other people who have fought, political party leaders who have fought the good fight. And many people out there in the community who fought the good fight. Let us now get together and change things around. Let's get back to the Fiji that we know. And let's do it together in peace calmly with love compassion for each other let us agree to disagree with things but let us move fiji forward for a better progressive fiji